Remind us what this mission is all about. Yeah, so this is a fairly kind of routine um, mission to just essentially, as you said, resupply the space station with a range of experiments, but also essential supplies for the crew that's on there and replace some some parts that normally live on the space station. There's some interesting experiments on there uh, this time, which are actually quite heavily focused around humans future in space and you know how we do long uh, deep space missions so uh, there's a bio printing uh, kind of medical device so you know if you get a, a cut or something in space you can use your own cells to actually kind of create a bio bandage that's quite interesting there's even a, a kind of a space detergent so they can kind of wash their clothes up there and various other experiments around how plants live in space uh, and how you can make alloys in space and make them more effectively so quite quite an interesting set of experiments uh, on this launch. Well, and speaking of SpaceX specifically and the technology involved in this, the Dragon uh, that is supporting this mission previously supported the 22nd Commercial Resupply Services mission. Mm -hmm. Has SpaceX proven the viability of reusable rocket technology? Yeah, absolutely. Certainly with this current generation. So it's, uh, that, that, that Dragon capsule sitting on top of a Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, the Falcon 9 is essentially now the workhorse of uh, certainly American space um, uh, launches. You know, that they've put up a number of missions in December, including two Starlink rockets, which is their, um, their broadband satellite network. So, yeah, very much. And yeah, we should see today that this, that this is a new Falcon 9 rocket, but they you know, tend to use those a number of times, and that will be... Um, coming back and making a spectacular landing somewhere um, you know shortly after after launch and they'll re reuse that again for another mission in, um, in the near future so yeah very much mm. uh, a proven uh, reusable system um, but you know the next generation of Starship is where they're actually putting a lot of their investment dollars now so let's listen in to these live pictures seven six five four three two one zero ignition Let's uh, cargo Dragon soars with the final supply run in 2021 to the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. We're still looking at pictures. We're about just a few seconds away from the main engine cutoff. Again, this is the process um, of eventually returning the rocket back down. So we're looking at those pictures now. Matt, I do wonder, when we look at companies like SpaceX, we look at these other uh, rocket missions, be it Blue Origin or others, what does the mix look like for profitability in terms of cooperating with NASA versus commercial flight? Ignition of our Merlin vacuum um, well, you know, I think I think certainly for SpaceX, it's quite a um, interdependent um, kind of financial system, if you like. You know, their business model is you know a mixture of you know using these NASA projects. And there's these three billion dollars they'll get from NASA uh, for the next Mars mission. Uh, sorry, for the Moon mission, will help SpaceX's own ambitions to take people to Mars. So they'll be using that money to fund their own R&D, which I guess hopefully ultimately uh, they will kind of turn into a commercial program of their own. One of the things I find very yeah. interesting is that they brought up Tide to Go pens and Tide to Go <laughs> wipes, the cleaning product. Um, why? <laughs> Yeah, so again, this, this kind of ties back. So, um, you know, astronauts need to wear clothes when they're up there. They don't have washing machines. Um, and there's also limited space on, on these resupplies. So, you know, they have to kind of re-wear clothes and be quite careful about, you know, what they're wearing and how often. But, you know, and, and they have to wait for the next rocket to come up to give them some fresh clothes. So the idea here is, you know, not just for the ISS, but for, you know, kind of future space travelers, well, how do you actually kind of wash clothes um, in a zero-gravity environment where you don't have traditional washing machines? 
machine and water and all those things. So, yeah, this is an experiment we've tried to kind of come up with a totally biodegradable um, detergent that will work in uh, microgravity uh, and not create all sorts of kind of, you know, unwanted byproducts. So, yeah, another example of, um, you know, all of these kind of minute details you need to think about if you're going to actually send people on long, long um, duration journeys in space. But inevitably, I'm sure, you know, Tide will find some uses and benefits of this um, on Earth. And obviously having something that's completely biodegradable um, is, is very relevant to the times we live on Earth and, you know, being much more environmentally sensitive.